You can talk all day long about your personality trait, but your personality trait has nothing to do with the fact that your business needs sales. That's how you get the clients in your business, man. Uh, what if you're passive by nature? Passive by nature um, don't necessarily mean your business is passive by nature. All right, this is a great question, actually. Somebody just tackled this question uh, for like four or five minutes. People feel like you have to have a certain level of personality to uh, to dominate in this. And it's not true. Uh, that's why I teach people how to do sales through a system. And the reason why it, it, it works well in a system is because I never said that a person has to have a certain level of personality trait in order to do well in this, right? They don't have to have a personality trait. They have to know the systems and know the equations. So everybody has a natural level of um some type of grit in them. Um, now, it might not be the same level. So I might go out there um, uh, today and I am as, I am excited. I am like, it's like a party out here. And it's just, you know, and, and that's kind of how I am if I'm out there, right? It's like, I'm speaking to everybody. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm having a blast. Um, but that's not in your natural, uh, um, you know, you're probably not like that. You know, you're probably more passive, more chill, more reserved and stuff like that. Okay, cool. But guess what? Even in the passive chill reserve, uh, there's still a metric of activity levels that you do even at that, that will result to a result, right? Like you will get a result regardless. And also here's a couple of things that this is one of the teachings that we're going to do right now. Um, there's, there are things that you, when you say to a customer that will inevitably um, uh, still win, even though you're probably not as like loud and boisterous as John Manning, right? Um, because you understand human nature and you understand how to convert and you understand how to take control. So you understand that people do what you ask them to do if I just tell them to do it enough. So I might not know how to, uh, like Aaliyah is always excited, right? There's no, I don't know if I ever, I don't know if I ever spoke to Aaliyah and she is not excited. I even start to mimic her sometimes. I'm like, good morning, John. You know, I mean, like, I just, you know, she's just always super excited, right? So, you know, you might be saying to yourself, well, of course, Aaliyah is like that because, but don't view it like that. Once you start to view it like that, you are already setting yourself back. You're already setting yourself back. What you need to view is activity. Also, in a business, whatever I can't do, what can I do? <laughs> Another weird question. <laughs> Did I word that right? <laughs> if I can't do something, what should I what should I do? That's that's probably better. What I get from it is if instead of it's making excuses uh, instead of figuring out solutions. So I'm saying I can't do some is an excuse instead of figuring out what you can do. Okay. As an alternative or right. another way to make what it's being asked to get done. Hundred mm. percent. If I can't do something, I'm already closing my mind off to all possible solutions. This is one of those lessons you learned at Rich Dad Poor Dad, right? Um, where you can't say the things like I can't do this because once your mind says I can't or I'm not like this, right? Like you start labeling yourself. I'm not like this, then of course. Of course, whatever you say to yourself long enough, you're absolutely right, right? You won't be like that because that's what you said, right? So once you use those words, I can't, to how can I? How can I get this done today? You know what I mean? What that does to the mind is it allows the mind to open up possibilities now for solutions, it seeks after solutions. You know what I mean? It's because the very moment you say I can't, it's done. Your mind's not thinking about nothing else now, right? So this is super important. What I was going to say, and uh, you know, this is even better, uh, you know, what, he, what Corbin said was better than what I was about to say. Um, because, you know, if I am processing solutions, one solution that I will process is if I can't do it, somebody else can. So this is what I tell CEOs all the time. If you open up a business, a business, you have declared to the world that you are a salesperson. Let me say this again for those that want to understand. If, if you say, I want to open up a business and I want to be a business owner, you, you 
have just declared to the world, not only that you are the CEO, you are CSO, you are the chief sales officer. <laughs> You're the chief sales officer. Why is that so important? Because if you do no sales, guess what happens to you? You make no money. So you can talk all day long about your personality trait, but your personality trait has nothing to do with the fact that your business needs sales today in order for it to do what? Still be a business. Because what is, if I put, if I put your business on that machine that, that, you know, a lot of the businesses will be flatlined. There's nothing being done in that business. Why is there nothing being done in that business? Because there's no activity level. Because the person, all they did today was post one post on social media and expected the world to give them 200 tax returns. <laughs> <laughs> they, they posted one post and thought that the world was going to just jump to it and you realize you're not. You have to be ready to compete. You want to dominate in this place where everybody doing tax returns all around the place and you think you can be, you better be ready to compete. You ain't competing with no couple of flyers out there today in a one or two posts. You think you compete and you're not. You better wish you bump into a superstar because that's the only way you're going to get successful in this thing. You can be major in like in the tax game just by activity levels, guys. Nothing to do with personality, nothing to do with who you are, activity levels and understanding that your business needs that activity, whether or not you do it or not. Whether or not I'm sick or not, my business needs sales today. Whether or not there's a loss in my family or not, my business needs sales today and it needs it at a high level because my sales covers my lifestyle. My business covers my lifestyle. Does that make sense to you guys? Does this make sense to you guys? So if that's the case, I can't be sitting down in my couch all day. I can't be doing some small activities and come back here next morning and the next morning and the next morning talking about I'm going to dominate. You ain't dominating. This is where insecurities come in. This is where insecurities come in. Insecurities come in when you are saying something that your own body, mind, know your actions don't convert to what you're saying. This is where the insecurities come in. Because you will go on a, a line like this and you will see like all of us on and you know we'll say, who's going to dominate today? And you declare, I'm going to dominate today. I'm going to do my best today. And you don't even get up to even do it. So guess what starts to happen now? Now you don't even believe the words that come out of your mouth. So now you're having a harder time to even declare. Like how many people say I'm going to lose weight and still have not done anything yet? A lot. A lot of people. So you got to be able to get your, your, your words and your actions to be intertwined. So it's beyond personality trait. You have to start viewing yourself as a business. The business needs results, period.